This is Twit. It's a bummer Flo is not here. Uh, because I know. I was looking forward to, forward to talking to her about her uh, article um, that she wrote last week that was about the Lenovo P11 Pro tablet experience, which uh, yeah. which I just bought this tablet. So um, so listen, you know, advertising notifications on devices uh, that we buy can be frustrating. You know, we've seen Amazon do it. We've seen some other manufacturers do it. Um, and Flo actually wrote recently how Lenovo is... Um, and I, I'm, I'm going to keep this straight and then I'm going to play counter argument to it. But um, cool. Flo wrote about how Lenovo is, quote unquote, throwing ads into the P11 Pro experience. Um, these ads are being served by the Lenovo Tips app. Um, and this app can't be uninstalled or disabled, but users can disable notifications for the app, um, but unsure if that fixes the quote unquote problem. Um, and as mentioned, Lenovo is not the only brand that does this. Samsung, TCL, Amazon, Ana na na na, uh, they all do it. Uh, Samsung recently confirmed that it would be removing ads for many of its first party apps, which is progress. Um, now, a lot of this, I will say this is a little bit of a tempest in a teapot. Now okay. I've only had I've only had the tablet. Here's the tablet, my new my new fancy case. I got my little book folio case for it, right? So I can carry it around safely. Nice. Um, I've only good. I've I've only had it for about a week and a half. I have not gotten one of these ads yet, um, but oh. I can confirm I can confirm that the disputed tips app. Uh, cannot be uninstalled or disabled at all. Like it's on the tablet. There's nothing I can do about it, right? Um, where this all stemmed from was someone posted in the Lenovo forums about how they received an ad uh, that was, uh, where is it, that was pushing a notification for an offer to join Amazon Music. Okay, so here's the thing. A notification to join a service through some sort of corporate partnership, while technically is an ad, when you tell me that it's forcing an ad, I'm thinking like the Amazon Kindle Fire experience when there's actually a ad on the lock screen, like a graphical advertisement, right? But okay. a notification saying, hey, Lenovo customer, here's an offer for you, that to me doesn't feel like an ad. That's just part of the crap that the companies roll out through their partnerships and all those sort of, sort of things. So while I get the, this, the, the upsetness of an app that you, a bloatware app that you can't uninstall, that you, that lives on your device, whether you want it or not, and potentially serving messages that are pr promoting a service or quote unquote an ad, on my scale of like the worst thing in the world, this is like a three. Mm. Because guess what? You can swipe that notification as fast as you see it and then it's never going to bother you again, right? There's a big difference between Hopefully. getting getting truly served an ad versus getting a notification from an app like the Tips app. Um, so, and again, that said, I didn't get the notification. I didn't get the quote unquote ad. Maybe it was graphical. Maybe it was more intrusive. But I don't know, Jason, tell me if you disagree or if I'm wrong. But like, I just feel like this is a little bit of a tempest in a teapot and that this isn't the th that big of a deal that it was made out to be last week. I had people tweeting at me about this la yeah, last week. Right, I was like, oh, right. Because they know like, the like, Lenovo yeah. connection. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I'll just start off by saying that you're not wrong, Ron, because that's your experience, right? And uh, you're, you're fine with it. Um, I am totally, I'm kind of in the opposite camp. Like I hate it when on a phone I get a notification that's like, hey, act now over here. We've got a little thing going on. And I fully realize like, you know, and sometimes we do this to ourselves, right? Like we install an app on our phone. We don't realize that that app, whoever developed it, you know, they're, they're, they get really crafty with their notifications and what they can do with them. And yes, you can use the notifications pane as an advertising platform. It might not have images in it, but is it... Is it, is it messaging that's meant to like move you, you know, get you to try something that you maybe don't already have installed? Like I consider that an ad. That's like, a, hey, this exists over here. Uh, why don't you do it? That's the same as someone saying, hey, I've got, you know, a, a cereal that you've never tried here. Check it out. And I go to the store the and I buy it. But what's the difference between an ad and a special offer from by being a customer of one of of, of that? You know, like I mean, all all, all these cut. Like, are you gonna tell me the Netflix button on my Chromecast remote is a is a is an ad I can never get rid of? 
Oh, well, actually, it kind of is. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's there with the intent. Like, Netflix has paid to put that button there so that you'll push it. Um, yeah. Now, I happen to be a Netflix user, so that doesn't bother me as much. But for someone who isn't a Netflix user, they're probably pretty ticked off that they can't remove that ugly Netflix button from their remote. At the same time, probably. there's a reason that it's there because, you know, the, the hardware that you're buying, uh, the price of that might be lower because of that deal. So I think sometimes that gets lost in the noise, too too, is that like maybe with some of these devices, and Flo points this out in her article, a lot of times like with it, with a device coming from Walmart, you know, the Ananun, um, you know, that's a lower cost tablet. And so I'm not surprised when I see an ad coming up on a tablet like that. Like that kind of makes sense yeah. to me. They're subsidizing the cost of that to bring the price down. That's kind of the price you pay. Do I like it? No, but I get it. I understand it. If you're getting a Samsung phone and like, and, and Samsung, like you mentioned, only recently kind of dedicated themselves to um, not doing this as much. I don't know that that necessarily means that they're not doing it at all, but as much. When I get a Samsung phone and, you know, say I've spent, you know, six, seven, eight, a thousand dollars on this on this phone and then I get an ad. Yeah, I'd be pretty ticked off about that personally. But but you know what? It really just like like we're finding here. It really just depends. Some people this doesn't bother at all. And I just feel like you know, especially on those higher tier phones, if, uh, or, you know, and I don't know, I don't really know where the Lenovo tablet falls into this category. It's definitely not a premium tablet, but it's also not like a bottom of the, uh, the barrel tablet either. It's kind of middle road. So I suppose it kind of makes sense. There's probably some sort of, you know, supplementing of, of the cost of this tablet maybe that's at play here. So I don't know. I'm, I, I guess I'm a little conflicted because I kind of get it, but at the same time, it annoys me when it happens. That makes yeah, sense. it annoy, but it annoys you. But I guess the question, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy just because I'm not that miffed by this. But like, yeah. I feel like we get, I, I feel like we get hit. I, I see a distinction between an offer that because there's so many corporate partnerships and so many things like that, an offer that yeah. is served via that way, and a truly intrusive ad that is blocking my like. A notification right. doesn't block your access to what you're doing. It doesn't like it, like you literally all you have to do is ignore it or swipe it away. And like you don't you like and I guess it's, it's a nuisance, but it's not stopping you from using the device. That's where I draw the line. Yeah. But what if there are 10 apps on your phone all throwing notifications up there? I mean, then that gets sure. And, and of course, yeah, that, that isn't necessarily happening, but yeah. there's nothing saying that it couldn't happen. And if that did happen, I'd be super annoyed. You know, I, I don't know. I, I think what it is, is for some people, different places on our phones become kind of like sacred places. You know, it's like my notification shade. I use it for a very specific reason. I use it to manage my uh, my day largely. We talked about it on the show many times. And when something right. ends up there that I didn't want there. Yeah, it's it's annoying. Is it a deal breaker? No. But but I definitely stop and I notice I'm like, oh, that's. That's like, I didn't want that there, but yeah. you know, at the end of the day, you're right. It's super easy to just swipe it away. And there's controls in Android for me to swipe halfway and then turn off notifications entirely for that no. app. And maybe that gets rid of it. So, you know, I'm, I'm aware enough to do that, I suppose. And there's a lot of people that aren't, and they're just going to be annoyed all the time. <laughs> now I will say that, and Burke just flashed the tweet, uh, for our video viewers who are watching for our audio, our viewers, uh, a person by the name of Ben Krasnow tweeted about this. And I, I will say on the melodrama scale, this tweet is pretty high in that yeah, he says, well, in, yeah. in, in case you consider buying, my Lenovo tablet was remotely modified via forced update to have an undismissible, unmutable system ad notifications from an app that cannot be uninstalled or disabled. That True. compared to that, com <laughs> but that description of what's really going on is a yeah. little hyperbolic and, and I'm about yeah. as hyperbolic as they come. And so like, <laughs> I'll call hyperbolic when I hear it. And I'm sorry, Ben, that's a, that was a little hyperbolic. It's like my tablet was remotely modified. So it makes it sound as if someone came into your tablet and remotely did it when you just ran a system update. Okay. It was yeah. a forced update, which is the system update to have an undismissible, unmutable systems ad notification that now I didn't get the ad, so I'm not sure, but if it's a notification, you just swipe away. I assume that's okay. You know, like that, I, I don't know. It's but crazy. what, what, the, what the if it's not like, can, 
Yeah. yeah. If it's persistent, that's a problem. If it's, yeah, I will give you that, problem. Jason. If it's, if it's persistent, that is a problem. Um, yeah. but needs to say, I, I use my app. I use my tablet a ton this weekend trying to get this to happen. And maybe they, they got scared and turned off the serve, the notification service after this went, after this whole Tempest in a teapot happened. But I've yet, yeah. it's yet to happen to me when it does. I'm going to screenshot it. I'll document it. We'll talk about it. But right now, I, I do think that this is a little more of a, 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 uh, uh, Tempest in a teapot, like I said. Um, yeah. Now that said, I know we talked about it. I was going to do a review of the Lenovo tablet. Uh, we're going to do it next week, right, Jason? I think that's the yes. plan. Yeah, we've got happy. it in the calendar for next week. Yeah, so yeah. so we'll go in deep. And maybe by next week, I'll have gotten a notification. Uh, I'll have gotten an ad, and I'll be singing a different tune and be very angry. So Yeah, we'll I mean, I'll be, I'll be really curious if you do end up getting this. I mean, obviously, yeah. I know you would come back to the show and you would talk about that. But I'd be really curious that that one undismissible part, I think that's that's a pretty critical aspect of this. If it's truly a notification that is an ad about something or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it, that you cannot get rid of. Oh, I like I'd be complaining on Twitter, too. That would be like that's un, in, indefensible as far as I'm concerned. If you're going to put that there, like, OK, maybe. But it, you got to let me get rid of it. I would like to see a screenshot of it. I've, I've yet to see yeah. anybody who actually show what this looks like. Um, and all we've seen is this report. And what's so funny is that like with and this, this shows you like the the good or the bad of all this uh, of, of social media. But it appears as if this one tweet set off all these blog posts about it yeah um yeah. and yeah and it just uh, it's, it's yeah so um yeah. and that's and that's the thing is that like you know it says you know that they they you know if you go and read the forum conversation between that guy that this is not a tip this is a push that is advertising a paid service i loathe this sort of thing so this person mm. is clearly i don't want to say a karen but but is is clearly on the side of looking for a fight you know, yeah. whereas somebody yeah. like me who They're who upset. like yeah. isn't isn't that upset by it. So it's, it's all your mileage may vary. So totally. Um, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think this conversation kind of kind of makes that pretty obvious. Right. Like really, yeah. it depends on who you ask. Like everybody's going to feel a yeah. little bit differently about this. It could be as easy as just swiping it away and like, what's the big what's the big deal? It could right. also be now, if it the was flip side, which is this is my device. Like, why is this coming into my device? And I didn't invite it, you know. <laughs> Uh, right and and the undismissable yeah, thing is the weird thing and I have a hard I have a yeah. hard time believing that it's truly undismissable um because yeah. that is user hostile but we'll see yeah so <laughs> we'll see when it hits your tablet Ron Richards exactly. when I get it we'll see what you think <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping I get it during the show so we can it can happen oh live, that would be but, amazing yeah. yes yeah. please Not keep so checking yeah <laughs> <laughs>